Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be on this makeup look right here. You guys have been requesting it like crazy. This smoked out wing has been my go-to look lately, mostly because I've been lazy to do like a full on eyeshadow look. Once you get the hang of this technique, you can do it like really quickly out the door. Just skip the lashes if you want and just throw on mascara and it gives your eyes like a really nice almondy shape. I heard Angelina Jolie does this. I mean, not as extreme as I did it, but I've heard from a makeup artist that her eyes actually have a more round appearance, but with this technique is what gives her that like super fierce cat eye look. I don't know if it's true. People could be lying to me. You know, you can't trust anybody these days, but I'm gonna go with it's true. Also, I think this look would be really pretty for Valentine's Day. It's simple, but it's like sexual. Sexy, sexy is the word. It's sexy, and then you have like a pink lip, so it makes it nice and soft and pretty and girly. That's all I have to say. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna pick up Sienna, my favorite eyeshadow, and this small detail shader brush by Zoeva. And all you're gonna do is follow this along your lash line. And sorry if I sound like I just woke up, it's because I did. So, why this eyeliner is so easy is because to get the shape of the line, you're just gonna follow that lower lash line straight up towards the tail of your brow. Just keep going with that line from the lower lash line up and slowly taper that eyeshadow away to a fine point. And then you're just gonna bring it back and just do small little motions with the brush and blend it, take your time. It's really easy this way. It's really hard to mess up because of the eyeshadow color. It's really forgiving. You could easily wipe away anything you don't like or just blend it softly to a smoke. So now you have that wing down. Look like you're sick. That's cool, we'll fix that, don't worry. We're gonna layer fudge now and kind of do the same exact thing that we just did only keeping it closer to the lash line on the bottom. So I'm taking an angled brush now to do this. This is also by Zoeva. It's the winged liner brush. And like I said, you're just gonna follow the same steps. I'm going right along the Sienna shade we placed down. As your shades of eyeshadow get darker, you stay closer to the lash line because you don't wanna cover up Sienna and you just want it to kind of gradually fade. So I'm just placing this a little bit lower than the Sienna and blending it all together. Fusing it, fusing it all together to sound more professional. Sometimes when I do this makeup look, I actually just stick with the brown and the Sienna just to do like a really nice smoked out brown wing, which I think looks really, really pretty, especially with green eyes. This color combo will make your eyes stand out a lot. So if you want to skip the black step, you can totally do that. You don't have to use the black eyeshadow afterwards. This is what it looks like without the black eyeshadow. But now we're gonna go in with the black eyeshadow because you know I like that drama. So I'm with this going, like I said, closest to the lash line. And sometimes, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I end up covering the dark brown. I try really hard not to, but I get carried away with the black. So I'm trying really hard not to cover the dark brown, but either way, it adds like a really nice gradient. So here we go. I'm really, really packing that black eyeshadow into the lash line, get them into the lashes so that you don't see a space between your lashes and your lash line. This step is totally optional, but I like to take my Inglot Gel Liner and this really small Smith Cosmetics brush. It's like the tiniest liner brush that I love. And I like to just create a line in the inner corner. I'm actually taking a angled brush and just lightly winging it, like feathering it out. But see how that gives your eye more of a cat shape? I literally just follow the tear duct and make a little triangle in the inner corner. Next, I'm applying my Marc Jacobs mascara and of course my iconic lashes. These are from House of Lashes, some of my faves. I always get asked what lashes I'm wearing when I wear these. 
All right, so I gave the Makeup Forever foundation another shot in the stick form, and I used it only in my highlight areas, like my under eye area, because my under eyes have been so dry, like my skin in general, and this worked really well to give a really nice natural finish in that area that stayed really hydrated. So I feel like for drier skin, it looks really nice. So I'm really liking this when I do it this way. Now I'm taking in the Fit Me by Maybelline. This is the Matte and Poreless and the L'Oreal Pro Matte. I like to mix these two foundations together because I get one, a good color that I like, and two, I love the L'Oreal Infallible, but sometimes it can be a little too matte, and the Maybelline Fit Me is not as matte, so mixing them together gives me really good coverage with not such a dry matte look. I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend that all in. Dude, I don't know why my face has been so pale lately. Like, I don't know if it's my dark hair that makes me look more pale, but I need to get a tan, ASAP. My face is paler than my whole body. Like, for some, I think it's because I keep my face out of the sun, but I'm having to match the color to my neck. Then I'm going to take my concealer. This is the NARS concealer, and today I'll be using custard because I want a more highlight look. Of course, using my Beauty Blender to blend that out. I like to balance out the rest of my face with highlight as well. That way I don't just have highlight under my eyes. And you just see two white streaks. So I'm also gonna highlight the other high points of the face. You guys know the drill, the bridge of the nose, the uh, forehead. Chin, keep its bow. Now you're just gonna want to set that Laura Mercier translucent. Oh, my voice just cracked. Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I like to dip my beauty blender in it very lightly. I'm not gonna use a crap load of this or bake because if your skin is dry and you try to bake. It's not gonna look good. You're gonna look like Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. That's what happened to me, so I'm just light layer. And then I'm taking my MAC Sheer Pressed Powder. This is just like a setting powder and setting my makeup. And of course, MAC Give Me Sun. You guys know this is where I live. I tried to use a different bronzer and Steven said, why aren't you using MAC Give Me Sun? And then I was like, you're right. I need to use MAC Give Me Sun, so I did. I'm just gonna apply that in the hollows of my face, cheekbones, around the jawline, and also on the hairline. Now I'm gonna mix two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shades lightly and give myself a slight contour to make those cheekbones pop. I'm just laying down the product first because I don't want a lot, so I'm just laying it on both sides and then I'm gonna blend it all out. For blush, I'll be using MAC Pinch Me. I love this color. I feel like it just gives your cheeks that really nice, pretty, flirty, flushed look. It's nice and pink. I'm applying a lot because little tip is that blush is the first thing to fade out of all your makeup. So if you're going to go out, apply a tiny bit more blush than you would because it will fade the quickest. And as you guys saw, I just sprayed my brush with MAC Fix Plus and then dipped it into my Gilded Honey highlighter. This is going to give you like an instant crazy highlight and that's what I want. So I'm just applying that on the tops of the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, um, the cupid's bow. So for my lip liner, I'm gonna be using MAC Oak Lip Liner. I've been using this pretty much with every nude lip color lately that you've seen on Snapchat, and I've been overlining my lips just along the cupid's bow to give that little plump appearance, but I keep the lower lip normal, don't overline that one. And then for my lipstick, I'll be using MAC Kinda Sexy, which is one of my old favorites, it's just, again, a really fresh color, and it has like a pink undertone to it. And then just set your face with some Fix Plus. Just set the face, 
give yourself a few spritz, and you're done. All right, so that's it for the tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how this technique works for you guys if you do decide to try it. And if you do, don't forget to tweet me your photos and or Snapchat me. I see the Twitter photos more than I do any other platform. That's why I tell you guys to tweet me. So go ahead and do that. Also, I'm gonna do a shameless plug of my vlog channel. If you guys haven't subscribed already, Steven and I have a vlog channel. It's called The Perkins, and we just uploaded a new vlog, and we have a new one coming. So don't forget to subscribe. I'll put that in the description box so you guys can check that out. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. It's pretty much all I fucks with. So see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. Do I listen to you? Shit. Fly with me. For the what the f